Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Community Cod and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Optifine along with the shaders mod that's actually inbuilt to Optifine HD and with a whole bunch of shader packs. So first of all you're going to want to head over to the Optifine website and download the files for versions 1.8.8 or whatever version you would like to install this on. Of course, this tutorial is pretty universal, so you can use it on any of the 1.8 versions at the moment, and potentially any future builds. So first of all, you're gonna to wanna to head over to percentage app data percentage in your start menu, app data percentage, and you're gonna find your .minecraft folder. So in here you've got .minecraft, you want to back everything up, so do a copy of that and create a new folder just somewhere safe, oh, like my desktop. Uh, Minecraft backup. And just paste that in there. This will ensure you don't accidentally remove all your saved worlds. So people have been complaining in the past that that's ha actually happened. So from that, so now what you've got to do is just delete everything in there. Uh, that will ensure there's a clean install so there's no interrupting files. You're going to launch Minecraft. Uh, once Minecraft is launched, you are going to make sure it's on 1.8.8 and just hit play. Okay, so once it's done loading, and Minecraft is actually launched, you're going to want to quit out of Minecraft and as you can see all the files have loaded back in there. Okay so the next step is to actually run the Optifine installer so just open up that Optifine jar file that you downloaded earlier and just hit install and Optifine is successfully installed, click OK. Now you're going to launch Minecraft once again. Now you have an Optifine profile, you're gonna hit play on that and it's going to download the required files. Now Optifine has launched up, you go to options, video settings and as you can see Optifine has launched. Once Optifine has installed, you're going to quit out of it Go to percentage app data percentage again and go to dot minecraft and then you will see shader packs. I have a whole bunch of shader packs in here. I will leave a download link in the description and literally just copy the shader packs file into your dot minecraft and now what we've got to do is relaunch minecraft. Make sure you're using the Optifine profile, hit play. And, and then you go into options, video settings, shaders. So what you have to do is you have to set performance to fast render off. Performance, fast render off. Click done, done, done. Now you can launch into a server. Okay, now that I'm in a server you can see that it's not activated just yet so you're going to escape options video settings shaders and then you've got a vast array of shader packs that you can choose from I am going to use the best one which happens to be Seuss uh, here we are ultra motion blur now I'll put that on actually now you just click on it, click done, 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 back to game. And as you can see the shader pack is well working. Let me set the time today and you can see the difference. It seems pretty cool. Uh, that's pretty much it. There are a whole bunch of other ones in here, video settings. Uh, I'd also recommend dedicating more RAM to Minecraft. So to do that, just disconnect and quit the game. Relaunch Minecraft once again. Go to edit profile and then you'll see JVM arguments. 
you will see the 1G right at the start. I've got 16 gig of RAM, so I'm going to dedicate 8 gigs to it, so approximately half or a quarter, so 4 gigs actually, that would be pretty much good enough. You can hit play and it now will launch with 4 gigabytes of RAM. I'll launch back into that server and I'll show you the performance of the game, how many frames per second it's getting now. So the shader mod has automatically activated. I hit F3 to check my FPS. I've got VSync activated, so it locks the FPS at 60. So it's currently pretty stable. Uh, there are no real major bugs with this, but I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and I will see you in the next one.